Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're gonna get the new RX 6600 XT grunt build. We're gonna get this thing up and mining. We're gonna get it optimized on Ethereum. And then of course, go over all the nerdy numbers. But without further ado, let's spin that intro. Welcome, here we are today with our beautiful 12x RX 6600 XT rig built in the beautiful AAA Wave white sluice version 2 12 GPU mining rig frame. In our previous video, we went ahead and showed you this beautiful frame and showed you the entire build. Make sure to check that out up above. But today we are going to tweak, we're going to tune, we're gonna get this thing optimally mining on Ethereum. Then we'll go over all the nerdy numbers and we'll give you the profitability, the cost, and of course, the ROI. So let's go ahead and jump over into it. All right, all right, so here we are. We're over in a remote session. First and foremost, let's go over the clocks on this thing and what we ended up overclocking. Right here in the very center of our screen, you can see that here are our base overclocking numbers. And if you need help on how to overclock the RX 6600 XT, I already have made a video specifically for this Sapphire RX 6600 XT Pulse Edition. And basically these numbers are very similar to what I did in that video. Right here is our base overclock. We used a core of 965 across the board on all these cards. Then for all the cards, we used a core voltage of 675 millivolts. We used a memory of 2270. Now, there were two cards that were not complying with these numbers, and we had to drop down actually a little bit, and that would be the Power Caller Red Devil Edition. And you could see I had to actually bring the core voltage up and I had to bring the memory down to get longevity and stability. And then same thing with the Asus ROG Strix. One of the two actually were really finicky, probably just bad silicon. And so I had to bring the core voltage up slightly to 750 and bring down the memory to 2240. So just know that a one base does not catch all models, does not catch even the same card of the same make because sometimes the silicon's just not as good. So there's our overclocks. That's how we ended up getting our hash rates. Next, let's go over the actual models and the hash rates and the power usage, and then we'll go to the cost and the ROI. Let's go. This one was over the top. It cost me way too much, but here it is. We've got all 12 graphics cards laid out right here with the make, the model, the amount of mega hash that they're currently hashing away at, how much power they're using in the software, and their total cost. So if we take and add all 12 of these GPUs together, you can see we spent an exuberant $6,702.19. Then we want to go ahead and add in all of the accessories, the mining rig frame, the motherboard, the cooler, the RAM, all of the pieces here that make up the rest of the mining rig and the parts themselves ran me eight hundred and seven dollars all right so next let's go ahead and add up our total cost our gpus alone up here in the top corner cost us sixty seven hundred dollars and sixty seven hundred and two dollars to be exact the rig parts themselves eight hundred and seven this mining rig cost me an exuberant $7,500. The hash rate on this thing, 385 mega hash, and the watts at the wall actually being pulled at the wall because that's what we care about, 950 watts. Then I took those numbers and I plugged them into whattomine.com, and I only really cared about the Ethereum 
for right now. So I put the Ethereum numbers in there and it's telling me that I would earn $15.05 per day on this mining rig as of today without electricity. And I add in the electric cost and it would make $12.54 profit per day. Next, if we go ahead and take and plug in the cost, the earnings per day, we're gonna get an ROI. This ROI is pretty disgusting at 599 days to pay off this rig. Should you buy and build this kind of rig in today's climate? No, no, no you shouldn't. It's not smart. It's not an economically intelligent decision. This isn't financial advice but do not go overboard and pay these kind of prices and build this kind of a rig in today's market you're probably going to not be happy about it but hey that's me i have an addiction i love building mining rigs i love producing the content i love helping out people so there we go that's what we have here it is let's go ahead and pop to that outro <laughs> well, there you have it. The Grunt Build, the 12 by RX 6600 XT. It's up and mining. It's on Ethereum. It's pretty efficient. It could probably be a little more efficient, but I'm trying to stack that Ethereum. And man, that rig is so pretty. If you're new to mining or you need some assistance, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew!